serving central Queensland. This is 7 Local News. Tonight our northern neighbours brace for the biggest cyclone in Australia's history. Capital Island evacuated as the monster system looms. Another fatal accident on the Bruce Highway. And a lucky escape for a stranded boatie. Good evening. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening. Central Queenslanders tonight remain on cyclone watch as the most destructive system in living memory powers towards the North Queensland coast. Our region's expected to escape much of Yassi's fury, but authorities are still warning residents to be vigilant. All eyes are on Cyclone Yazzie as the powerful system closes in, packing winds of up to 300 kilometres an hour. It will have the capacity to bring down transmission towers. This means that electricity supply could be seriously disrupted even in parts of uh, regional Queensland that do not have the effects of the cyclone and people need to be ready for that possibility. The Weather Bureau is warning the Category 5 system will cause widespread destruction when it crosses near Cairns and the sense of dread is only heightened by the uncertainty of what will be lost. And hopefully not death, although that's probably uh, going to be the case. Last month it was the deluge. This time the Premier is supporting cyclone victims. When one part of Queensland hurts, every part of Queensland hurts. And just as uh, the people of North Queensland were there for southern and uh, central Queenslanders during the floods, we all stand ready to shoulder this burden with you, not just today, but every day after this event. A cyclone watch is current for central Queensland. Rockhampton Regional Council has closed its local disaster coordination centre, but is warning residents not to be complacent. It's a, such a significant storm that people need to be aware that uh, at any time, you know, things can happen in, in a cyclone event such as that. While most of central Queensland should escape the system, northern parts of the central highlands and Capricornia can expect falls of up to 100 millimetres over the next couple of days. Winds will whip up to about 80 kilometres an hour and open waters could see swells of three to four metres. So we should just be aware of uh, what's going on and, um, and keep an eye on the, uh, on the latest advices. Emily Fardoulis, Seven News. And Great Keppel Island has been evacuated as the Capricorn Coast braces for high winds and strong swell whipped up by Yassi. About 10 tourists and staff left the island this morning, but some residents have chosen to stay. It's the calm before the storm. Just hours from now, powerful winds and rough seas will lash the Keppel Islands as Cyclone Yassi crosses the northern Queensland coast. Backpackers are moving out. We got told this morning at nine o'clock that then we just phoned up over mainland and now we've got to go over. We haven't had like a TV or internet or anything so we don't really know what's going on. David Stone from the UK cut his trip short. This is the last ferry for uh, about four days so um, I decided to uh, pack up and uh, move off before it all got too, uh, too hairy. This family from Wales was meant to spend the week on Great Keppel. They've had to make do with two days. Well, I only saw two of the Santine beaches, so I'd just like to see more. They've also never seen a cyclone, let alone a monster like Yassi. Can't say I've been in a cyclone, so, you know, the weather wouldn't have been good if we'd stayed. Some residents have chosen to stay. They say they're not worried by the Weather Bureau's warnings. They're confident they can ride out any severe weather that may hit. Oh, I know about the cyclone alerts and that I still think it's too far north for us to be too concerned about as far as damage goes. But Greg Servison has taken precautions just in case. Well, we've got a cyclone shelter down there if worse came to worse, so um, tie downs, getting rid of loose rubbish, all that sort of thing. Freedom Fast Cats has cancelled services until conditions ease. It's hoped they'll be back up and running by the weekend. With a large swell like that, we can uh, damage the boat and uh, being that size, we don't want to hurt anyone. And... In the face of so much danger and uncertainty, it's better to be safe than very sorry. Anna McManamy, 7 News. The Port of Gladstone is operating normally despite the Category 5 monster racing towards the state's north coast. Coal ports further north have closed. Gladstone Ports Corporation CEO Leo Cezino says some coal ships could come to Gladstone. As residents in Queensland's north prepare for the most serious cyclone in generations, planes have flown south to seek shelter. 
Airports are sheltering planes from the state's north. Four arrived last night, with more expected today. They're seeking any port in a storm. This Australian Customs Dash 8 usually patrols the coast off Cairns, but today it was in Maroochydore for safekeeping. It's one of four to arrive on the coast overnight and the airport is making room for more. If need be, we have a, a cross runway that can be used for, uh, for the storage of the larger aircraft. Commercial aircraft usually head west to flee cyclones, but Yassi's path forced these planes south. But as this weather system now moves, um, through the coast into the west to the Mount Isa, out to the Mount Isa area, of course, those, uh, those options become more limited. Cyclonic winds make the air a no-go zone for aircraft, but conditions could be just as bad on the ground. These planes will fly by themselves, so even if they're chained down or tied down, strong winds can easily break those ties and flip them over and blow them up against a fence and basically destroy them. And it's not just small planes that need shelter. No, it'll be all the aircraft that'll need uh, to find shelter. Uh, and not only the civil aircraft, but of course the military aircraft. Sally Young, 7 News. People who are worried about friends or relatives in the path of Cyclone Yassi can call a special hotline. Now, the number is 1300 993 191. The hotline has been established for North Queensland residents to register their details with authorities. And we'll bring you a full wrap of how North Queensland is preparing for Cyclone Yassi later in the bulletin. Well, ahead tonight in Seven Local News, we bring you a special North Queensland wrap of Cyclone Yassi. And how residents there are preparing for the tropical monster.